Hi, Michael here. Today I'm going to show you how to change Ethernet signal to the RS-232 or others. I'm going to be talking about SN3000 series. In particular, today I'm going to show you SN3002P and 3401P. The P stands for PoE device. In our portfolio you will also find another which is not PoE. Let's look what's in the box. For that I'm going to show you the 34101P. In the box you will find something that is quite unique for this device. It's a mounting kit, but both for the rack or DIN. Also, of course, there is a device itself. And manual. I have prepared the 3002 before, so you can see the difference here. The 2 at the end means that it has a two RS-232 ports. As I said before, 3000 series is only RS-232. The 3401 is the RS-232, but also 422 and 4A5. In the front, you will, you will see two power jacks. One is regular, one is a terminal block, and an Ethernet port. Those devices can support many different ways to connect to the RS infrastructure. Of course, you can use Windows, Linux, any other software. Also, you can use PuTTY. This device supports third-party authentication servers like Radius, for example, IP filtering for security reasons. So you can use it in any kind of uh, production line or uh, logistics, uh, maybe healthcare infrastructure, etc. It can manage to, you can manage actually to change the Ethernet to the RS, which is very unique and very secure. Of course, the device has a web GUI, so you can actually use a web browser and configure it the way you want to. So you will see the very flexible solution to, to deploy. I really encourage you to check more information on our website. And of course, as always, please subscribe our channel and see what we're gonna have prepared for you next time. Take care, see you next time. Thank you.